Before we go any further, I'd just like to say one thing. Hello? Sounds like the dogs found something. Well, you never know, it might be a luxury inn. No, bats. He found bats. Good work, boy. Bats are exactly what... What do you think happened to Ben? He's a strong swimmer. Probably reached a sandy beach somewhere. Palm trees. Beautiful women. Coconut cocktails. Janet bastard. What the hopping hops is that? It must be protecting something. Like the way out, most likely. I'll tell you one thing, we haven't got this far, haven't got this many people behind us to end up dying in some forsaken, far-off hole in the ground. Well, wherever we are, we're not the only ones who got stuck in this damn place. most encouraging side in the world, is it? Still, they might have something useful on them. Why don't you check the second lot over there? I found something. A note. It speaks to us still. Darkness incarnate. We know now we can never escape it. Well, that doesn't sound good. Hey, I've got something too. One of these poor sods left a journal. Most of the pages have disintegrated, but well, we, we can still see plenty of weird symbols. It's mostly gobbledygook anyway. I mean, listen to this nonsense. Luminous spirits of the sands. In part, daybreak and gleam under a quiet moon. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Look at that. Can you believe I did that? <laughs> Does look somewhat dark, though. Oh, maybe going down isn't such a good idea. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you lead the way if you're so tough? You know how I said it looked somewhat dark? Well, I'd like to amend that statement. We're looking into utter, total, complete darkness. Oh, what have you got there, boy? Ha! Ah, you little genius. Good boy. Oh, no, that's better.
What do you think this place is? I have no idea. A temple of some sort? What could anyone possibly worship in here? Hmm. No, we're not going any further this way. Aside from here. Okay, be careful now. That thing's probably pretty stiff. And we don't want to make any more noise. Walter the Scholar will deal with this, mm, with an increasing sense of trepidation, admittedly. Luminous spirits of the sands, inhale the restless gloaming. Whoa! There you go, what can I say? I have a knack for gibberish. Do you ever get the feeling somebody's playing games with us? All the time. Let's just be thankful and get through this place as quickly as we can. The light you bring will die. The light inside you will die. All Show that yourself. you are will die. Well, this isn't good. <laughs> the children are here to play. What are they? Watch your flesh die. Watch your thoughts turn to black. Watch your fates turn to black. Keep fighting.
Wait. I think we must be close to an exit. There's a cold breeze. Can you feel it? There's that sound again. It's almost like... No! Not the light! Not the bloody light! I lost my head back there, I know. I've never liked dark caves, but this... It's as if someone took my worst nightmare and made it... But it's gone now. It's gone! And we're going to be fine. Looks like the only way is down. Come then. Three, two, one.
But you too wish for the Black Void. You tire of your travels, your burdens, the cries of your homeless, the cries of your dead. You too will be swallowed. the world see that thing it blinded me i can't see it's okay walter i'm here we have to get out quickly it's still out there we need to leave You can hear it. 
too, can't you? It is there. I'm not mad. I can't see anything. Take me to the light, please. It's still out there. We need to leave. Are we out? Did we get away? Yes. We're safe now. What can you see? A desert. I can feel the heat of the sand. But whatever that thing did to me, it's like it, it sucked all the light from inside me. I still can't see anything. Just don't let go. Careful. The steps up ahead. All right. Okay. I'm not sure. I don't know how far I can go. Are there no signs of civilization? There's something in the distance. It looks like an enormous statue. <laughs> how far? It's going to take us a few hours. Stop, stop, stop. I can't do this. Of course you can. Come on. I'm... I'm too weak. You have to leave me. Listen to me. I can't see. I can barely stand. I, I, I won't just slow you down. I'll get you killed. You have to go on without me. Save me, I'm dead weight now. Stop talking like that. We're going to make it through this. Oh, well, will you listen to me? You have to leave me behind. That thing left you weak too. Don't you think I can tell? What you have to do is too important to risk for an old wreck like me. Listen, you have to go on without me. I won't leave you here. You have to. I can't. I, I can't. Walter. It's all right. It's all going to be all right. I'll come back for you. I promise. I'll get help. You'll do me proud. I know you'll do me proud. He's calling for you. 
while the children spread out his heart in the sky. Shatu! What's happening? This world is ours. We will smother every light, every last breath from every last mouth. Try to run away, but you are made of sand. You are falling apart between our fingers. One day, the people of Albion are going to need you. I have to find out just how ready you are. Fight! He would have done anything for you. Now, he screams alone. He curses you, not even in death. Your strength is you. ebbing. We can feel it. My brigade has been pinned down by the enemy. Until this is just me and two other men left. We retreated into a cave. But they never came after us. They just blew the entrance. Sealed us in. We spent three days in that cave. No light. No food. Just three men waiting to die in the dark. The light in your eyes offends us! Let it go out! Are you blind? Are you blind yet? There's nothing left! You're gone! All gone! She's still alive. The other can't be far away. Taking a nap in the sun? Typical royalty. You had me worried there for a while. Walter? Don't worry, we'll find him. You just sit tight, Princess. Can you help me? The young one will be fine. She is strong. We need to tend to the older one. At once. Hang in there, Walter. Hey, boy. You are awake. Good. My name is Kaylin, and you are in the city of Aurora. I have much to tell you. Walter? How is he? He is fortunate to be alive, but we have seen his condition before. We may be able to help him. Is there another of my friends here? I thought I saw... in the desert. A devilishly handsome soldier by the name of Ben Finn? Not dead yet, my friend. Please, come with me. Don't worry, he's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. It's so good to see you. When I was fished out of the local pool and Walter and you weren't there, well, I thought it was all over. Then I realised I was being an ass, And I worked my charms to get a search party out for you. Not that Caelan here needed much persuading. We are accustomed to misfortune. Now it is time you saw our city.
Welcome to Aurora, the city of nightmares. The crawler did this. The being you fought in the desert caves. It appeared five years ago, bringing darkness and death. The few of us who still live have known nothing but fear since. We never know when it will come. And we cannot hope to defeat the creature and its spawn without an army. Even with someone like you by our side, Ben Finn speaks most highly of you. But you are not the first savior to come here. Please, walk down to our streets. See for yourself. Then we may talk more. Go ahead. I've seen enough already. I'll check up on water. Try to honor you always, Father. I will do as you taught me. I will carry myself with the strength you gave me. And I will try to leave our people as you left them. You stood against the darkness and were an example to us all. Your courage lives on in the hearts of every Aurora. I hope. I will not disappoint you, your ever-loving daughter, Kaylin. I wish to leave a record of my survival in testament to those who did not. Last night, the crawler descended upon Aurora again. We believed ourselves to be ready. We believed we would be safe when it returned. No one is truly safe anymore. I watched through a window as my neighbors were torn out of their homes by those creatures. That they operate in darkness is a blessing, for I could not see what was done to them. Only hear their screams and the crawlers' laughter. And then they came to my house. The walls trembled, the floor shook. You are the one who survived the desert night. Yes. We have not had much fortune with outsiders. But as you can see, fortune deserted us long ago. You have come to a cursed land. What are you doing here? Everybody else seems to be hiding. I am honoring the dead. My wife and my child. And I stand here because I do not fear joining them. I'm sorry. You may read their memorials if you wish. There are many elsewhere. On statues, doorways. Wherever a memory will allow itself to live on. My wife and my daughter. You were taken from me by that which dwells in darkness. And darkness is all that is left in my life. I am thankful only that you knew little of the horror that has taken over our city since then. Now you know what we have suffered. But as I said before, you are not the first outsider to come here. Who was the other? His name was Logan. The King of Albion. Seems your big brother's been keeping secrets. He used to go on expeditions all the time, remember? Until about four years ago. He too faced the crawler. He saw all his soldiers killed by the darkness and nearly died himself. But he survived thanks to our care. He left with a promise that he would return with an army and save us. I promise. Then let us go to war. You have survived a terrible ordeal, but you will be the stronger for it. With Kaelin and the Auroran people on your side, you are finally ready to face your brother. It is time for you and Walter to gather your allies 
and take Bowerstone Castle. How is he? Is he gonna make it? I do not know. The darkness is deep within him. Few ever wake. But he's improving. I mean, you're doing your thing and he's getting better, right? I do not wish to give you false hope. Perhaps it would be better if we allowed him to rest. Don't worry. He's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. Just yet. See? I told ya! Yes. Shame my first sight had to be your ugly mug. I'm sorry I left you, Walter. You did all you could. And don't think I don't know it. I told you you'd make me proud. Well, we didn't exactly find the army we were hoping for. And I feel about a hundred years older than when we left, but we're finally ready. You've surpassed every hope I had for you. You're the queen Albion needs. So come on, it's time to gather your generals and prepare for battle. You know, maybe I'll take a little nap first. The promise you made to Kaelin is now on the wall with the others.
All right, I've got it. I take a small group of soldiers down this route and blow up the West Barracks. How's that better than draw their attention? We will live longer than route. a few seconds. Oh, well, now you're just picking holes. Give it up, boy. What I want to know is what my men need to do. That's for the future queen to decide. Paige knows the city best. We'll follow her plan. Fine. I only put mine forward to annoy her anyway. I see you've really matured on your travels. If you'll look at the map, we can go through the details. My ships will take you to the beach here. We can expect heavy mortar fire, but most of Logan's soldiers will be busy dealing with Paige and her men. I want to be in the thick of the smoke and the fire and the glory. If Paige takes the west route, it's only fair I take the east. Which leaves the center to us. <laughs> Less chance of getting lost. Then we're agreed. Are you sure you're up to this, Walter? Oh, don't worry about me. I may feel old and tired, but the day hasn't come yet when I can't charge into a good old-fashioned fight. Let the battle for Albion begin! shreds out there. They need our help. We need to take care of that mortar. We've already lost one ship. Caleb's coming. Anything. It's 
The Aurora ship should be able to move in closer now. you've ever had! <laughs> Sabine, you almost blew us up! You saw a glorious beacon of freedom burning in the night for all the... No, no, no. What is it, Boulder? Oh, bloody hell. Move! Move! It'll take more than a grenade to finish off that old sword. Meanwhile, let's do what he says and get moving, shall we? Thank <laughs> you. 
feel well. There's no way we can pass that back. Oh, please, we're in a tree! Have we lost all the houses and doors? Are you just uh, breaking and entering, followed by some... That's right, you are. That one's dead, all right. What we need are explosives, but I used mine up on the way here. If only we knew some sort of tiny, crazy old man who enjoyed blowing things up. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Did you see that border that the whole city bowed to our thunder? Hang on, how did you get to the other side in the first place? Dwellers have their ways, my boy. Is there anyone left to kill? There will be soon. More troops are on the way. Kalian's fleet got a fair few, but not all. We'll hold them off. Come on, Balder, there's more fighting to be done. Good luck in there. Hope the crown fits. Let's finish this for good, while I can still stand up on my own. Shall we knock? No. Let's surprise him. So, this is how it ends. The old fool and the child who ran away. you finally become the woman I always wanted you to be. She's a lot more than that, and now she's ready to take your place. Perhaps the time has come for someone else to lead Albion. You were never a leader, just another tyrant. Did it ever occur to you that I may have had good reason to be? We're not interested in your reasons. Cower behind ignorance if you will, but my sister deserves to know the truth. Save it for the trial, Logan. You can beg for your life then.
She is the Queen of Albion. You've made it just like I always knew you would. It doesn't get any easier, though. You have a country to run now. And with Jasper busy in the sanctuary, you'll need a new personal aid. Someone who could keep you organized. Let me introduce you to Hobson. Hobson's the name, Your Majesty. May I say what an extraordinary honor it is to serve you. I have a vast wealth of experience, I assure you, though I have yet to experience vast wealth. <laughs> that, Your Majesty, is an example of the sense of humor which will no doubt make our time together such a delight. No doubt. Well, I'll leave you two to get better acquainted. I should begin preparations for the trial. The trial? Of course. The very first item on today's agenda. Among my other qualities, I am well versed in toadying, public relations, and time management. And I heartily believe the key to being a successful queen is following a well-scheduled royal agenda. If you will permit me, here are today's appointments. I'm sure you will do a marvelous job presiding over your brother's trial, which, as I said, will be your very first royal duty. Your subjects await in the throne room for what is sure to be an historic occasion, Your Majesty. You're much too nice looking. You're doing just what they want. Are you so afraid to break with societal norms? We're never going to tear down the establishment at this rate. You are going to free those animals, aren't you? I'm afraid. You might have a look in the sanctuary shop. Any other business to attend? If you don't spend your money, it will accrue here in a sort of golden heap. Whatever... Welcome to the sanctuary. 